Es ist Dream Daddy Zeit und wir gehen hier direkt mal wieder los. Wir sind ja ähm, bei Robert gewesen, genau. Äh, hatten unseren kleinen Sleepover bei ihm. Und jetzt sind wir, ich glaube es ist noch Abend. Ich meine, hier steht auch, well, it's been a long day. Also wir, wir starten einfach mal rein. Okay, well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it. In. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. As I pass her room, I can hear I can hear her a faint sound, but can't quite make out what it is. I get a little closer. Is she crying? I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. The crying immediately stops. Not right now. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. <laughs> I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Oh god, what's passiert? Is everything okay? I don't want to talk about it. Did something happen or leave her alone? Sind wir der Nosy Dad oder sind wir der äh, nette Dad? Ich frag sie, ich bin der Nosy Dad. <lacht> Wird viel zu neugierig für sowas. Did something happen? No, nothing happened. Go away! Something must have happened. Amanda, get out! Okay, okay. I quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Ja, war vielleicht nicht die beste Idee, ne? aber äh, jetzt haben wir es gemacht und äh, wir müssen damit leben. Wow. What has her so upset? She seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did I, did, I, did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. Ooh. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. Ich find's auch interessant. Normalerweise immer, wenn ein neuer Tag beginnt, kommt diese, diese ganz fröhliche Musik. Aber da ist jetzt ja gar nichts. Okay, mal gucken, was passiert. Hmm. About 10 minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? Oh. No. Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? Amanda pulls the toaster lever up and takes her still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. Oh my, was ist denn los? I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Uh, oh, okay. Boah, das war ein Knall, alter Schwede. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at the picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture, mixture of excitement and pure unadulterate fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Oh God. <laughs> Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. <laughs> As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream and it was like nothing ever happened. Das ist funktioniert anscheinend immer bei Kindern. After giving the... <clears throat> Entschuldigung. After giving it a bit of thought, I decided if I, if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. Oh nein, nicht schon wieder backen. Nicht schon wieder backen. <laughs> I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin. What? Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Okay. <laughs> yeah. 
I wanted to say sorry about last night. Dot, dot, dot. I'm, I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. That I... So just whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Oh. How do you, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping you could speak a language we both understand. <laughs> I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting has set by now. Oh, I had wirklich gebacken. Ta-da! Dad. It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and... <laughs> Sorry you're sad, but I support you 100%. <laughs> <lacht> oh mein Gott, das ist. Oh, das Herz ist am rechten Fleck. This is beautiful. It's strawberry. Amanda gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve, serve us up some delicious cake. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing, I know I've been really weird lately and it's just, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, I feel like I might have to make you a chart. I am listening. Do you want me to take notes? <laughs> I guess I should start from the top. So you know how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R... <laughs> the one who puked in dead goth and beyond, the best friend. The other one, oh my god, uh... Was Emma P oder Emma A, die da hingekotzt hat? <lacht> ich, ich, ich geh all in. Dad, du musst mir an. <lacht> ich bin genauso ein schlechter Dad wie mein äh, virtueller Dad. Dad, it was me. What? I thought you were Emma P. Dad, are you doing okay? I'm getting legit worried. I've been doing a lot of gluing and varnish in, in unventilated spaces. Uh, carry on. Oh. Anyways, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot more time with Grace and MRP. I, I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but then I found out from Rosie M that both, both of the Emma's, Grace and Noah, all went to a party at McKenzie's... McKenzie F's? On the same night, they all told me they were busy studying for Calc AB final. Das sind viel zu viele Namen und viel zu viele Abkürzungen. Yikes. So, another important piece of information is... Oh god, this, this is embarrassing. I am... I am... I have a crush on Noah and... Uh, <laughs> that's a thing. What? Well, I had no idea. I, I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. <laughs> so are you. I learned from the worst. Oh my god. Yeah, this, die, die tun sich nicht unbedingt uh, viel, ne? <laughs> uh -huh. Anyway, so the only person I told about the crush was MRR and she promised not to tell anybody. I didn't confront them about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just kept keep quiet and keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. <sighs> and then one day I invite everybody out to get nachos at the mall and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they all say they're busy like simultaneously. Yeah, this, this felt shown off, yeah. So I tell them, never mind, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out of chips and I really, really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Ugh. So I go to the mall anyway. I I get to the food court and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R and Noah all hanging out together and eating nachos. Oh, me. What? It gets better. I'm standing by the escalators watching them and I realize that Noah has his arm around MRR, which is kind of weird, right? But then they kiss. No. Yes, I know. So I stop over there and I'm like, hey. And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt because of course she does and MRR just like glares at me. Grace. Grace, nothing is coming up. I, I don't know who that is. Grace is the boring one? 
gossipy one? Did she poop the bed too? <laughs> the gossipy one? I know! Oh, I did was richtig gemacht. Grace is the one nobody really likes. Oh, I guess that's me now. <laughs> but anyway, nobody will say anything. I'm just like you guys suck, which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry and really embarrassed and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left. Without nachos, might I add, which only further contributed contributed to the shitty day and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat asking them why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR asking how long the Noah thing's been going on and uh, sorry I know that's a lot you're still following. What did MR say? I'm a little confused but I think I understand. I have no idea what's happening. Das wäre die richtige dad Antwort, aber ich uh, nehme mal die erste. <laughs> Oh, okay, get a load of this. MR says, you know what? Let me just read it to you. Amanda pulls out her phone and reads, word for word, an obviously long string of text messages. Oh my god. Hmm. Can you believe that? I can believe that. I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's, what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I'm trying my hardest to be supportive. Ah, uh, what, what else can you do in this situation, right? Uh. They were dating in secret for like months. <laughs> So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend and she's like, well, if you think I'm so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on read. And then, wait, left me on read? What's that? Ich weiß es auch nicht. Oh, like, she saw my message and didn't reply. And I know because there are read receipts. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just gonna nod and pretend I understand. <laughs> gotcha. So while this is all happening, I'm talking to Emma Peer about how mad I am because she's at least being kind of reasonable and I'm wanting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. And then out of nowhere Noah texts me and is like, no could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? And he tells me that Emma Peer sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. Wow, oh, teenager. <laughs> All right, I, I think you lost me at screenshots, but that, that definitely sounds bad. Oh. There's so much more, but honestly, it's just all just really stupid teenager stuff. <laughs> what I was, uh, yeah, was ich gerade gesagt habe. <laughs> the bottom line is that everybody dropped me, half of my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Dot, 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 yeah, da fällt mir auch nichts mehr ein. Amanda. I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but... Oh. MR's been there since Dad died. I can't believe she j would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Der arme Kuchen. Okay, I take it back. I'm kind of mad she's dating Noah. Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I enough? I don't understand. Deep shit, yo. And as mad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad. Amanda looks so dejected that I almost can't take it. What could I possibly, possibly say to help? Uh. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's the whole sorted tale. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for more hot gossip. <laughs> Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Wow. I know it's pretty dumb. It's kind of dumb. It's not dumb. No, it's not dumb. It's not dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Amanda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. Tell her, girl. I have got girl enough. Tell her, man. <laughs> I guess. Unless you've secretly been a robot for uh, been a robot robot a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time dad if i was a robot i would have transformed into a monster truck a long long time ago yeah richtig so 
But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Fatherly wisdom, so... Not all friendships last forever. Real friends don't do that. High school sucks. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, ich, ich gebe dem Ersten. People are going to come in and out of your life. It's just how it works. Not every friendship is going to last forever. So cherish your friends while you have them. And when it's over, don't dwell so much on the bad stuff. You had some good times of MR, but you guys grew apart. Learn from it and keep moving forward. There's so many new friends to make and they're gonna be so much cooler than MR and the rest. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours, because you're amazing. And if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, jetzt kommt's. I keep that in mind. Oh, oh schön, ja, dann hat der Pep Talk ja geholfen. <laughs> I looked down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? <laughs> It was echt gut geschmeckt, oh? Ah. Yes, we did just eat that whole cake. Well, good talk. <laughs> Manda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes her door, she turns around. Hey, Pops. Yes. Ah. Thank you. You're always welcome. Love you, Manda. I love you too, Dad. Ah, oh, a voice line. Oh, schön. Okay. Ah, oh, das, das war hart. Das war richtig hart. Welcome. Ja, yeah, we got dads. Also es ist schon, schon, äh, das, das war jetzt äh, deeper than expected, aber ich finde es ich gut. Also mir gefällt das, dass so, so es so ein Twist auch gibt oder dass, dass man halt ihr Leben nicht irgendwie auch vergisst, ne? So, also ich habe eine Nachricht bekommen, mal anklicken. Hey, are you up to anything tonight? Äh, toll, dass sie einen Gruppenchat mit mir aufgemacht haben. Write a message. Oh, okay, da kommt noch was. Hugo and I were planning to go to the Art Walk downtown and we're wondering if you could care to accompany us. I would normally write a letter longhand, but I've run out of distressed parchment paper. Whoa, why can I see Damien and Hugo's chat? Am I a hacker? <laughs> but I don't even have a hacker alias. Uh, the feds are gonna bust down my door any minute now. I've gotta destroy this computer. Uh, Lloyd, th this is a group chat. <laughs> Oh, thank God. Do either of you guys know how to destroy a computer? <laughs> Warum ist er so? You can run Derek's boot and nuke from a startup flash drive, but once you've done that, it's best to physically destroy the platters altogether. Warum weiß er das? Ja, genau, genau, Hugo. Um, the Victorians were well versed in information security. <laughs> Lloyd, do you want to go see some art or not? Art is good. Let's go see art. See that art. Oh my god, er ist mit Schluck trinken. Medicine is not always the best medicine, cool. Uh, okay. Damien and Hugh invited me to the monthly art, art walk in downtown Maple Bay. I have never been really... I've never really been to one of these before, so I'm not quite sure what I'm in for. I think I'm here a bit early. I don't see Damien or Hugo around anywhere and I feel just a little uncomfortable standing among all these fancy art people. Lloyd? I turn around. It's Joseph! Joseph, what are you doing here? Man könnte ja auch einfach mal Hallo sagen, ne? Joseph scoffs at me. What am I doing here? How could you ask me that? I'm obviously a huge art... Uh, oh. oh. Appreciate... Appreciate... Uh, appreciators? <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Okay, fine. Damien invited me to this art walk thing. I'm guessing he invited you too? Yep, admittedly a little out of my depth here. Thank god I thought I was gonna be the art one out. <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? Say what? You know, oh. thank god. Yep, I actually get double points when I say it since I'm a minister. I don't know what I should say about him. It's so... Speziell. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. The points get you into heaven. That's how it works. Anyway, where are the guys? I look and spot Hugo and Damien, who seem to have just arrived at the gallery. Good eve, good eve, good eve. <laughs> Evening, friends. Oh. Who's ready for some art? 
You know I am. I have no idea what I'm in for. Art is dead and nothing is real. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm in for. Hey. Let's be honest. Um, same. Oh. All you have to know is that if you're ever feeling overwhelmed, there's generally always a table that has free wine and cheese. Oh, good to listen. I like art now. <laughs> I've got the table in my sights. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go help myself to some tiny wines. <laughs> Talk out with Hugo and Damien, get cheese and tiny wine with juice. <laughs> tiny wine. Um, we might have talk, 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 talk out with Hugo and Damien. So what's this first place? This particular artist specializes in landscape painting of various locals within the American Northeast. Hmm. I look at the, I look at the art. It is red art. At the risk of sur of sounding uninformed, do all of these landscapes look like butts to you guys? <laughs> hmm? Damien and Hugo lean in, examine the paintings in earnest. Hmm. <laughs> it would appear as if you are correct. Oh. A valid assessment, Lloyd. Hey, this art stuff's pretty easy. Oh, oh it gets more complicated. Ah. Sometimes the buds are more symbolic, sometimes the buds are metaphor metaphors, sometimes art is about the buds and they don't draw. Hmm, interesting. Joseph returns to our group with tiny cheese and wine. Ich dachte cheese and tiny wine. Was hat er denn gemacht? What did I miss? Hmm. Buds. <laughs> Bestes Thema. Oh. Shame. The cheese is nice, though. Shall we visit the next place? We leave the first gallery and walk a few minutes before we reach another one. This gallery is a bit more crowded. Huge paintings of... I'm not even sure... hang on the walls? This is alles irgendwie so ein bisschen pink-rosa-mäßig. Oh, oh jeez. What am I looking at here? This is abstract art. I think the most important question is, what does this art mean to you? I stare at the painting, concentrating as hard as I can on its meaning. It's a me metaphor for the human condition. It reminds me of my childhood. Yep, it represents strife. It's a butt. It's a butt. <laughs> Everyone else stares at the painting. Yeah, that's definitely a butt. I... <laughs> hmm. While a valid assessment, I feel like the artist was trying to make a different statement. <laughs> Probably how much he liked butts. <laughs> you are a servant of the Lord. <laughs> we are all God's creatures, even butts. <laughs> Langsam gefällt er <laughs> It's all about the butts. <laughs> Oh. Comparing this piece to the artist's body of work, I'm pretty sure this represents the sense of isolation he feels creating traditional abstract artwork in a field that's rapidly moving towards digitization. Wow, how do you figure that? Mm -hmm. That's what it says on the placard. <laughs> Wir lesen kann es klar im Vorteil. Uh oh. Wow. Let's look at a few more of these. We walk around the gallery, sampling some more of the artist's work. I almost hate to say it, but abstract art is kind of growing on me. It's interesting that the artist chooses not to let their work be defined by... What's the word? Realism? Realism. As we're looking at one of the paintings, a patron scoffs loudly. Shh, I could do that. Oh. Excuse me? Oh my. Hugo, not here. Hmm? No, come back here. The patron rocks away, not noticing Hugo fuming right next to him. Oh. You say you could do that, but you didn't. You don't seem to have the intellectual depth of the artistic skill to execute a piece even a fraction as impressive as this one. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm not angry. Art is the truest expression of, this, of the self and it seems like yourself is bad, so your art would be bad. Hugo's insult game isn't the best, but there's no denying his passion. Damien is holding him back at this point. Friend, friend, he's not worth it. <sighs> Hugo manages to cool down. He smooths his jacket. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just love art very much. We know, buddy. <laughs> I pat Hugo, yeah, Hugo on the sh shoulder. Hugo. <laughs> you know what, uh, what, what would ease the mood? Is it cheese? <laughs> no, 
Oh. It's wine and cheese. <laughs> we have a close account. Oh. <laughs> Co-signed. The four of us head over to the wine and cheese table, which thankfully is grounded in realism and is actual wine and cheese. <laughs> we got one last stop on the tour. You not feeling up for it? Is it gonna be any weirder than this art? Oh. It is absolutely weirder than this art. <laughs> Let's do it. Ah. Damien, Hugo, Joseph and I walk over to a performance in the street. Several masked performers and leotards undulate wildly on the ground, screaming both at each other and us. So, a quick question. Mm -hmm. Shoot. What is happening? Yeah. I second this question. I, I, I third this question. Ah. Performance art. What does it mean? Again, I pose the very same question to you, Mr. Smith. A fear of existence? The very humanity of being human? The, they really like screaming? But, oh, come, wir, wir, wir gehen jetzt richtig all in mit unseren Butts. What do you think they're trying to say? Um. <laughs> Schade. I believe it's less about what they're saying and more about why they're saying it. I think there's something special about performance art. With almost every other form of art, music, painting, photography, the artist uses their medium as a conduit for their emotions. Oh. With performance art, the medium is the artist. It's the purest expression of raw human emotion. It's art as catharsis. Oh, langsam wird es anstrengend. Aber es ist witzig. That's beautiful, Damien. So, what you're saying is, oh. if I start making real loud fart noises right now, it's art as long as I, like, really mean it. <laughs> Damien fixes him with a hard stare. Yeah. Dot, dot, dot. I was gonna start making fart noises, but based on the look on your face, the joke isn't gonna play well with this crowd. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damien is not amused. Oh. Wise. Ah. We watch the rest of the performance as earnestly as we can and clap politely after the dancers scream their way off stage. Phew, I think I'm all arted out. <laughs> Agreed. We all decide to walk home together. Mm. Ja, wohnen ja alle in der gleichen Straße, also warum nicht? We make our way back to the cul de sac, tiny wine and tiny cheese sloshing around in my stomach. I think what I've learned tonight, and not just what I've learned about art, which was nice and extremely informative, but what I've learned tonight is that when you put a bunch of tiny wine and tiny cheese together, it eventually becomes regular wine and regular cheese, followed by too much wine and too much cheese. <laughs> I guess he's a little drunk. The, the tiny cheese lulled me into a false sense of security. I felt safe with the tiny cheese. Wax wings too close to the sun. Oh. <laughs> Cheese wings? Those would melt on the sun too, and I feel like it's more appropriate imagery. Mm. Plus, it'd be delicious. Nice Emmentaler, possibly. <laughs> the Emmentaler shirt. Hey, if you guys were painters, what would you paint? Huh. I actually dabble in oils. I mostly paint landscapes. I'm not very good, but it's a nice way to pass the time. Mm -hmm. I think I would focus on personal portraits of people in unique professions like, for example, Lucadors? What's that? Hmm. <laughs> I think I'd paint boats, seascapes, maybe some lighthouses, mostly boats. Really? Oh. Yeah, I'm surprised you're choosing boats in favor of a, uh, of a long history of religious imagery and artwork. <laughs> what? Boats are cool. <laughs> it's a long history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He grows on me. Hmm. Uh, grows, grows. Uh, he grows on me. What about you, Lloyd? Food artistry, landscapes, tasteful nudes of the artist. Tasteful nudes. Hmm. <laughs> Art is a money-making business. I know what sells. We finally get to the cul-de-sac. <laughs> All right, boys. Good art. Good art. Oh. Agreed. Hey. See you guys around. Whether you want to or not, we're all neighbors after all. I head inside to deal with my inevitably cheese over. <laughs> not a hangover, just a cheese over. Welcome. You got dads. We got more dads. Jetzt können wir wieder einem schreiben, ne? Ich bleib an Robert dran. 
Ich meine, ich habe schon zwei Herzchen hier für, sein, für seine Messages und äh, ja, mal gucken, was passiert. Message. Oh, 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 okay. Hey, you know what they say about third dates. They get pretty serious. You might not have time to browse that book for a while. Are you ready? Save and continue. Ich finde es schön, dass es auch äh, direkt gesaved wird. Dann machen wir das mal. Pet every dog. Ja, ja. Jeden. Jeden Hund. Okay. I haven't heard from Robert in a while. I guess that's a good thing, but I can't help but kind of miss him. I'm about to go to sleep one night when I hear a knock on the door. Hello? Hi. <laughs> hey. Oh my god. I look behind me to make sure man is not around. <laughs> What do you want? Mm. I, I think you know. I'm not doing this anymore. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Give me five minutes. Robert winks at me. <laughs> I swish some mouthwash, wa mouthwash, throw on a generous amount of deodorant and put on some chapstick. I know he's just gonna treat me like garbage, but you know what? The sex is really, really good, so I think I'm okay with that. Robert and I go back to his place. Der kommt extra zu mir und klopft, um mich abzuholen. Wow. And he kicks me out first thing in the morning. Not sure I expected anything different. <laughs> I walk home with a heavy heart. I climb back into my own bed, feeling more lonely than I have in a long time. Oh mein Gott, wie dramatisch. <lacht> Date complete. <lacht> Kann man den überhaupt richtig daten? Was ist das? <lacht> Vorher waren es immer C-Ranks, jetzt ist es ein D-Rank und irgendwie... Wow. <lacht> okay, ziemlich viel Real Talk und Ghost Tour. Nicht mehr so viel Whisky, alles klar. Click to continue. Knife dead. Go on all Robert dates. Yeah, there we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, schön. Okay, dann uh, viel erlebt heute wieder. <laughs> und an dieser Stelle machen wir dann auch direkt beim nächsten Mal weiter. Uh, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und uh, ich hoffe, ihr hattet genauso viel Spaß wie ich. Und uh, Bats. Ne? <laughs> Bis zum nächsten Mal. Ciao.